Hey guys, it's Alexey from Ace5 Studios, and today I'm going to be talking about how to rig up a train carriage or a tram. I got this question from Maxim, and this is a perfect way to ask a question, by the way. He explained what he's trying to do, he sent me an attachment and a video, and just beautiful. This is how I, it shows that he actually tried to do it, he googled it, and he actually even found one of my tutorials, which ironically was to do with rails, but not these kind of rails. And so yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to make a tram or a train run on a spline. Now, he already give, gave us an attempt with some spline, uh, follow spline tags and stuff, but the problem that you get is that you won't, um, anyway, there's a couple of issues that I have to address here. Now the first thing is this spline here, this position thing isn't keyframe, but that's not a big problem. If we just keyframe it, you'll see that we have other fun problems to deal with. For example, you'll see that these little carriages, they move together, see, closer as they go through and then they line up back at the end. So this isn't really practical. And the carriage is kind of pointing the wrong direction because it's parented to something else. And also access here, this is important because this switches to world access coordinate thingies and you want it to be local so you can see the rotation of your objects while you're working with them. So let's start fixing this. First, I'm gonna just delete all of this because this is all a bit too complex. Let's drag out the trolleys and the carriage. Now, so we have trolley one, we have trolley two, we do not need these joints here, and we have the rail spline. Now, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna attach these guys and animate going the right distance along the spline. So let's go uh, rigging tags. Also, if you, if you have a different setup here from an older version of Cinema, just press Shift C and type in, actually see, I don't even know where that spline tag is. So Shift C, spline, align, nope, align, displine, there you go. And we're gonna keyframe this guy here. And I'm gonna go to the end of this thing and go 100. And we should probably put our rails plan in here. And it's backwards. Yep. We want to turn on tangential so that it lines up with our thing. And we want to use the x-axis so it aligns on the x-axis. The red one you can see here. The red is x. And we want to make this backwards. So let's put this to 100. Actually, not 100. It's going to be a bit offset to line up with our little tram here. So 92. And then over here, it'll be at zero. And now we have that one moving. And we can just copy paste this thing here. And now we have two of them moving, but we need to offset it. So we go Shift F3, and we select this guy here. He's not showing up here. You might want to press Alt A so that it automatically serves everything. And this guy, let's just call him basic. This is going to be trolley spline one. So this guy and press H to focus all of that in here. And we wanna go into our curve editor. Also wanna select both of these and make them linear. And just make life, why is this guy not? Control A, linear, no, nobody wants to. There you go, linear, control A and linear. Okay, so this line, we wanna get this guy and we wanna move him just up a bit, oops. And as you can see, we get this problem where he kind of rolls away. So we should look at this one and then we move this guy. There you go, holding the shift key. Perfect, oops. Oh. <laughs> Because he appears back on that one, okay. Let's move him to 98, and then let's like this guy. Let's get our carriage thing and move it across a bit. And let's like this guy. Where's our line spline? And press Control A while after clicking here, and move this guy so that he's also aligned correctly. There you go. And now when we move these guys across, you'll see they see how they close together, and then they that one kind of runs away. Uh, the problem here is that your spline, this one, currently it's using adaptive points subdivision. And basically it means that you have 
a whole bunch of little points and you have more of them on the curve. Like if you switch, I can demonstrate this by, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I'm gonna throw this into a extrude. And we're gonna drag this guy up. Okay, maybe, there you go. Now you can see these guys represent where you have subdivisions on this rail spline. Even if your points are like in different places, the subdivision is, so if we, for example, increase this angle, you see you get less points and you get more of them. So what we want is, and the travel distance is calculated between these points. So if you have lots of points close to each other, it will move very slowly. So what you want is you want to change this to uniform. Then see so you have a uniform change. And then the speed of these guys, if you look here, oops, these guys now, they will move uniformly between each spline point. Also, you might want to move this guy back now. As you see, that also changed the distance of these guys. So we have to go back to Shift F3. And we have to get our, let's call this guy, land spline 2, right? Yep. And let's go back to our F curve. And let's, oops, holding the Shift key, let's move this. There you go. Oops, a bit too much. There you go. And now we should have these two trolleys moving and they keep the distance. And as you can see here, they stop. That's because here, this is how far they go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get both of these guys. We're gonna go tag and we're gonna keyframe here because the final spot. And we're gonna just click and drag this and overwrite the frame at the end. So this is where they both stop. And this is where they both start, so they both stop. So we see how they're moving correctly now. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this carriage and we're going to put it underneath the trolley. doesn't matter which one. You put it under this one or that one. And then all we need is we need, let's turn off this extrude. I don't need that anymore. All we need is we need to right click on it. I'm going to go rigging and constraint tag. Constraint. And we're going to use an up vector. An up vector is basically going to, ah, no. First, we're going to not do this because we need to change the axis. We want this guy to rotate. Uh, like imagine if we want to have like a pole stuck in here, like a vertical pole. And then we want this guy to just rotate along that pole. So right now the vertical pole is stuck here. So we can just go to axis tool and move this across. We can zoom in to make sure it's exactly here. But what I would suggest is I would suggest uh, making a null. So just press Alt G. And now you have a null with the axis in the right place. And this guy, we can also drag him up onto the null. Don't forget to turn off this axis tool because that can mess up with you later. So now when we rotate this null with the carriage in it, you see it orbits around one of these little carriages, right? So all we need to do is we need to have it, so if we just play right now, you will see that, see, oh, it's the wrong carriage, that's important. So let's go back to start here. Let's make sure this null, turn on our axis tool here and move this null to the carriage that we're actually moving around. So now when we animate, when we drag through, so you see it, it's there and it moves with that carriage and that's where the null is. So all we need to do is we need every time this moves, we need to rotate this null, oops, not the axis, just the null. So that is always targeting this thing. So it's stuck kind of on a pole and just rotates and targets this. And that's pretty easy to do. That's what the up vector is for. This up vector here, uh, switch to move tool, make sure this is turned on to local so we can actually see which axis we're working with. And right now we want the pole, like the axis that it's stuck on, kind of rotating around, is gonna be the Y axis. So in this tag here, we want axis, and we want this to be plus Y. And we it's pointing with the red axis, with the positive direction of the red axis. So we just change this to plus X. And it'll flip it right now, but when we put the target in, trolley one, it'll go back and now, if this trolley moves anywhere, see it tries to follow it, but because it's stuck to the spline, it won't. So now when we press play, or when we just drag that timeline, we have the des desired movement, see? So these guys are stuck and the carriage moves with it. And from the 3D viewport, same thing. You can see these guys are stuck on the spline and they move along and that thing moves, you know, the way you'd expect it to move along the spline. I'll make another tutorial, maybe a more advanced one with a more complex setup for this later on. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in how to make more complex setups with constraints and maybe a longer train and stuff. And also tell me in the comments if that's something that actually interests you. So this is Alexei from Ace5 Studios. If you like this, make sure to check out my website for more tutorials and free character rigs. 
and some nice paid character rigs and support me by buying something that's stuff from $25 and up and you know you can play with stuff so yeah have a good one